G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Diaspora. Welcome pilots. This is a volunteer mission. During the last op, one of our pilots suffered engine failure and was unable to land. We're going to bring him home. Search and rescue. As Red 3 was lost at our last location known to the Cylons, it is possible that there will be a strong enemy force in the area. This mission is not simply to rescue Obit, but to determine the size of the Cylon force committed to finding the Theseus. Orange Lead Assault Raptor 1342 will conduct the search and rescue effort. Hammer has volunteered to be the ECO for this mission. If hostiles are present, you are to follow full emissions control protocols. Try to find Obit and get out of there undetected. Once you find our pilot, Orange 2 will be deployed to commence SAR operations when the area is secure. They will remain in a fallback position within wireless range until given the signal to jump in and retrieve Red 3. If we're going to do this, we need to do it quickly. Every minute we spend is a minute of Obit's O2 supply. If you're going to volunteer as the pilot for this op, Meet me outside of the briefing room. I need you suited up and on the flight deck, ASAP. All right, here we go. So pretty. Bet somebody's kicking themselves that this wasn't a licensed game. Oh, nice. The last time, the last time I played this, I don't think I had functional oh, track right, AR. I don't yes. recall being able to look behind me. Yeah. At least we'll be jumping out of here soon. I'll keep you updated on anything over wireless. Just do the flying. I love how the co-pilot actually sounds like he's sitting behind me at the moment. Theseus. We're not leaving them behind. The colonies are probably destroyed, and we're wasting military assets to try to rescue a pilot in an area swarming with base ships. The Tosers probably left the area as soon as we jumped. Anyway, it's not our place to question her orders. Yeah, well, I'm glad I'm not the unlucky frack wit dumb enough to volunteer on this goddamn cluster frack of a mission. No offense, Orange Lead. I'm sure Orange Lead has thicker skin than you. By the way, you have 164 to go before you beat the record. What? Saying frack the most over wireless in one op, moron. <laughs> Ten bucks says I own that record. Alright, let's get the frack out of here. Jump complete. I'm reading two Dratus contacts, Cylon Raiders. Might be a rear guard. They haven't detected our emissions yet. As long as we don't shoot or get too close, we should be fine. Holy frack. Comms traffic is a mess. I can't make heads or tails out of anything. I'm not sure if it's because civvy channels are flooded, the clankers are jamming everything, or both. I'm picking up a faint wireless signal. It's too weak for an exact fix, but we can try to trace it. I'm not reading anything on Dratus other than the toasters. But if we can get within a if click I or two remember. of that signal, I can get a lock. Yep, there it is. I don't think they've detected it yet. As long as we keep our distance from the Cylons and we don't fire our weapons, this should go very smoothly. I'm reading a faint Dratus contact. Damn. Just lost Take it. Take a breath, mate. Jesus. Alright, so we've got to use a combination of Dratus, which is the uh, the space radar system in the center console, and the signal strength reading on the top of the HUD. While keeping distance from the uh, the silence. I lost the transmission. It seems to be jammed at the source, sir. If the Theseus is under attack, we should abort mission. This is Orange Two to Orange Lead, sir. For all we know, it's a fake transmission from the toasters. I suggest we proceed with the mission as ordered. That seems fair. No, that's the wrong way. 
So basically you use the Dratus to try and get a rough idea where the signal is coming from. And then you will sort out your orientation by signal strength. The closer you get and the more directly pointed at it you are, the higher the signal strength goes until eventually you're on top of the pilot. Oh, it's dropping low. There it is, it's back. So I reckon we're pointed pretty much at him at the moment. Bar is going up. It's moving away, so it's okay. Bell done. Yes. All right, gotcha. This is SAR Raptor 1342 to Red 3. We have received your wireless signal and are here to render assistance. Thank the gods. Stand by. Orange 2 will jump in to retrieve you. This is Orange 2. We're ready to retrieve Red 3. Alright, so you're doing the recovery. And it looks like we can just jump out. Anything else to do? Multiple Cylon contacts. Long range Stratus is still fracked up. How the hell did they find us? Theseus, Orange Lead. Think the Lord's our distress call was received. Our fuel lines were ruptured by an internal explosion, which also damaged our FTL. The Cylons then jumped in. Internal fires have blocked access to the hangar deck. We haven't been able to launch any birds, and long range wireless is being jammed. Gods damn. With the fuel lines erupted in those fires, they'd have been artillium reserves. Crack me. The emergency reserves are barely enough for... Pilots, you need to buy us time to get our FTL back online. DC crews are starting to contain the fires. We should be able to get more birds in the air shortly. And the Raptor is no Viper. It's got no afterburner endurance either.
Atreides. I swear the last two sets have been taken out by flight clouds, not my guns. You're getting kill stolen by a goddamn battle star. Theseus, go easy with the flak, will ya? Nice shot! All heavy raiders have been neutralized. Alright, good. Thank the gods. All transports were intercepted before deploying borders. Theseus! How long until FTL is back online? Systems are nearly online. Two minutes. Prepare for combat landing. Right. Yep. More hostiles. This actually does require a fairly decent amount of concentration. It's one. Silence shooting at me, it's a goddamn battle star. see it even if I did. God, these thing maneuvers like a stuck pig. It's just like, it wallows everywhere. Stop, stop! Not the wall! Crap. Alright. Raptor 612, this is skids down, backlock secure. Welcome home. Alright, that was a horrible landing. I have grave news. The Cylons look like us now. 
Ah, we worked that out now, have we? A Cylon agent detonated an explosive device near our fuel lines. We nearly lost the Theseus, but the damage was contained. The Cylon agent was jamming wireless communications and transmitting our position to their fleet and signaled for the boarding action. This machine was neutralized. Our recalled recon flights have confirmed devastation on PyCon and Tauron. PyCon fleet headquarters were destroyed in the initial attacks. We have received messages that surviving colonial assets are currently being marshaled in orbit of Virgon. Our top priorities are to replenish Artillium reserves and establish contact with the fleet. We do not have enough fuel to jump to Virgon and we will be unable to maintain combat operations with our current supply. So I guess that means in the next mission we will be raiding a depot. Anyways guys, uh, apologies for not talking too much in this one, but that required a little bit of concentration, and, well, the game's voiceovers are actually pretty good for a mod, so, um, I really don't want to talk over them too much. The, the game speaks for itself. Um, anyways guys, I am going to leave this one off here, and we'll jump into the next mission in the next couple of days. I'm going to complete this, since you guys requested it so much. Um, as always, the link for this will be in the video description, so you can download it and have a play yourself. It is completely free. It is a standalone mod. It does all completely come in the download, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.